Hello, welcome to 5 Minutes with Found Zoller, and today we're talking about decarbonisation. Decarbonisation, the reduction or removal of CO2 from the environment and the economy. Possible? Workable when you're dealing with a fleet of trucks? Well, let's hear now from uh, Simon Hyde, who's the CEO of Founds Ollie UK, Head of Engineering David Graham, and uh, Technical Training Officer Matt Tung. And our five minutes starts now. So, uh, Simon, decarbonisation, a threat or an opportunity? Oh, at Founds Ollie, we view it very much as an opportunity. I mean, it's not only about the, the climate and the environmental challenges, but it's all about creating a new economy, a new green economy for the next generations, including our company. Uh, David, uh, customers want trucks that are cost effective. How do you engineer solutions for decarbonisation that don't simply end up costing customers more money? Yep, so at Foundsola UK, we don't just want to supply and sell trucks to a customer, we want to give them a solution to their operational problems and requirements. So one of the tools we use is a data logger, this allows us to monitor exactly what a customer's vehicle is doing, how it performs, and how it acts out in the field. From this information, it enables us to totally size and give the customer exactly the solution they need. So you can give them real data they can look at? Absolutely, and we do, yeah. And there's, there's the proof. Because some might say that decarbonisation, you know, it's not so much about, this isn't so much about decarbonisation, it's about an opportunity to sell more trucks, but you're saying not. No, I, I certainly don't see it that way. It's about... We're more interested in how those, the customers use their vehicles and how they perform. And from that information, it enables us to look at our portfolio of all the equipment we have within group and give them a solution to their problems. Well, of course, decarbonisation involves more than the, the products you produce. It's, uh, it's about how you run your business as well, as Simon explained to me a moment ago. Outside your headquarters now, Simon, one very obvious sign of uh, decarbonisation, uh, electric vehicle charging points. Uh, are these used a lot? Oh, yes, on a daily basis. For our, there's a number of people in the, in the business that have electric and hybrid cars, and on a daily basis they use, but also for customers when they turn up, and our suppliers. And you've put quite a few in, so you are committed to this and to the Oh, the to t totally. We, we, the, the, the climate and the environment is a very important part of our DNA in the business, absolutely. So you've got the electric vehicle charging points and inside made some changes as well? Yes, we have. We've invested quite, quite highly in, um, in lighting, uh, so it's uh, a um, active lighting, so it's, it's good for the employees, it's a better lighting structure and also it, can, it saves us a lot of money, it's energy efficient. And getting rid of paper? Oh yes, absolutely, that was a big one of mine. <laughs> yeah. There's no paper in the office anymore, it's all electronic and it's given us great productivity and of course we're, we're not putting stuff in landfill. Well, Matt, uh, let me pick up uh, with you on that. We're now in, uh, well, one of your training areas that is a customer experience centre. How does that help in terms of your mission in decarbonisation? Yeah, this customer experience centre, it's located centrally in the Midlands. Uh, it's very easy accessible for all of our customers and clients. Uh, we can use this flexible space. We're very proud of it um, for all sorts of different purposes, including training, online training, webinars, um, new product launches. Um, and the fact that it's based in the Midlands helps with that decarbonisation. You deal with technical training for FZ UK. Uh, is the future in electric trucks or hydrogen? And how does that affect the training that you deliver to those who need to know? Yes, very much so. The future is definitely in, in electric vehicles, battery electric vehicles and fuel cell electric vehicles. Um, if we want to decarbonise the industry, these two options are the best way to go. Um, battery electric vehicles lends themselves to more, uh, to lower energy use scenarios. Whereas fuel cell electric so, vehicles... So that's in your, in your sit, close city centres? Yes, so. yes, that's correct, yeah. Whereas fuel cell electric vehicles have longer ranges, they can do more, more work, they have better energy, um, higher energy requirement work. And um, so what sort of training are you doing with your engineers and with clients who need it? Yes, yeah, so training, um, obviously this new technology requires new training. The technology has been used in other areas, um, so it's not new technology, but it's new to this industry. Um, there is a learning curve to go through. Uh, we are currently training our engineers up on this new technology and everyone's quite excited about it. Because as you're saying, it's clearly your belief, I mean, this is on the way. Uh, final thoughts, if I can. Um, do you not think that as a company you will face customers who perhaps don't, would rather not engage with this vision? Um, they've, you know, they've got trucks and they work and they'd like to keep them running as long as possible. David? It's a possibility, but I don't think we can bury our heads in the sand with this forever um, or for any longer. Um, 
Yeah, we, we understand it is quite a big change for some customers. It can be quite daunting. It can seem a, a very big daunting task. Um, but uh, yeah, it, it needs to be done. We're here to help and uh, embrace it. And most of the customers I speak to are really looking forward to the challenges and the opportunities this can present. Especially as you're saying you're offering them the evidence. And, Absolutely, yes. And Simon. Oh, without question, I mean, it's a huge, colossal change for the local authorities and the people who work there, as it is for us. And I think the key, the key activity is working in a very collaborative style of way. So as David said, we present the data, let's deal with the facts, but we have to do, go through a hand-holding exercise with our, with our customers, without question, because the change is difficult, but it can be done in this collaborative style. And there we go. Five minutes up now. So thank you very much indeed. Uh, Simon, David, Matt, thank you for joining us. And from FZ UK, thank you for watching.